<laughs> the games yesterday were eh. So if you had some binging to catch up on, it was probably the night to do it. Heat at Celtics, also a bore. Um, they, they finished that thing up, 118-84. They advanced to the conference semis. Derek White with 25. Jalen Brown had 25. Jason Tatum with 16, 12 rebounds. I, you know, I don't know. It's a, it's a five-game series win over a team without their best player. That's forever going to be part of the story, right, Lou? But did anything Boston do change your opinion for better or worse? As no, they just on? solidified it. Okay. Just solidified it. I think this is going to be a walk to the, to the finals <laughs> for them coming out of the East. You know, obviously the West is going to be loaded. Do we jump the gun and say they're the favorites to be champions? No, because there's a lot of good basketball being played on the other side of the country. But on the east side, it's the Boston Celtics all day long. Yeah, we've wavered on certain topics and certain teams. The Boston Celtics aren't one of them. We've been all over them from, from the jump. And I think them losing that early in game two kind of helped them. It humbled them. It let them know that we're not invincible. We can be beaten. And ever since then, they've been absolutely dominant. They've destroyed the Miami Heat, both games in Miami. And now just this game last night was Ugh. disgusting. Unwatchable. So I think when you lose early like that, I think it like it's like a college team losing in the conference tournament. Like It does wonders for your stretch and your run during the March Madness tournament. Same thing with this. They lost early. They lost to a scrappy Heat team that everyone talks about how good they are in the postseason. From that moment forward, it's almost like they came together and, they're, and now they're playing at a higher level than they even did during the regular season. Yeah, it does, it does seem like their road might not be as difficult as other Shams. Um, look, it's a Celtics series win over a, a very hobbled Miami Heat team. What did you take away from it? They just took care of business. I mean, it's like yeah. what, what, what Lou and Chandler said. I mean, for Miami, this is the first time since 2021 where they did not make it to the conference finals. You have to give a lot of respect to the run that they had from 2020 to 2023. They made it to the finals twice, made it to a conference finals. But the Celtics just took care of business. When you look at their matchup next, Orlando or Cleveland, and then they'll face one of Indy, New York, or mm -hmm. Milwaukee, if Milwaukee can, can, can get by this series. You know, maybe Milwaukee is the, is the team, you know, still. If those two if, come if, back. If those two guys can get healthy, if they can get by in this series, which they've shown they can win without them, potentially, you know, let's, let's not count Milwaukee out, but we'll see what happens tonight. But also, let's not sugarcoat this with injuries. Every team has gone through yeah. a certain amount of injuries. So with or without... Are we going to commercial? I mean, we can, but no, we'll stay. <laughs> Every team has dealt with this. So the Miami Heat, again, do, would it have been a different series? No possibly? Carol's here, no with, Jimmy Butler. For sure, it would have been a different series without them. But that's, We're all that's, still taking the Celtics with those guys. But that's We're like all, saying they, Boston Celtics didn't have Jason Tatum. Again, but like why are we doing They do, and they don't. So, like, they handle business. Lou's just, not buying. Yeah, I'm like, just saying, I don't. Not I, nothing has happened in this series that makes me think Boston's unbeatable. That's all I'm That's my only sentiment. In I'm more series? confident. Yes, I'm more no, confident. Th this series doesn't make you don't me think, think this anything. Is a dominant could... series? Yeah, I'm more yeah, but confident. It had to, why wouldn't I mean, it be? I mean, they're, they're playing just as good as a, a OKC. They're playing just as good as a Denver. I do know Jimmy Butler changes the whole equation. That's a whole other ball think? game. Yes, of course, they're Not a better team. team. They're, a be they're a better team. But I still, I'm actually more confident than the Celtics after how they maturely handled business in this series. A lot of teams can have let up. A lot of teams be like, oh, this is going to be easy and lose more than just one game. This team really stepped on the gas. And I'm telling you, that loss early is going to do wonders for them. Only thing I'm saying is the, the Miami Heat, the one game they did win, it was a record-setting night for them. Tw was it 23 really was. It was a record-setting night for them. The and one game that they did win, obviously Jimmy Butler, you throw him in the mix, you, you quite possibly have a different series. You, you throw Hawkeyes out there, you have a different series, but they weren't. It, it, it is what it yeah. is. Yep. The one game that they won, it was a record-setting night. Other than that, they were <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna, dominating. We're not going to discredit the Pacers because Dame and Giannis are hurt. We're not going to discredit the Mavs because Kawhi's hurt. That, it's that, not discrediting, but it's just sort of being realistic about, all right, what is their full potential, really? Because we don't know. This is what's if happening. We're talking about out, what if, if they're healthy. This, no, this is what I know is happening. Who cares what if happens? But if your star player is out and I kick your ass four games, <laughs> right. yeah. that's the what if. I know. Oh, I get it. And like, yeah, maybe they'll be closer games, but other than that, you know we're 30 what? points better than you this every is, night. This is great for the Miami Heat, too, to just know there's not a little switch back there that you can click on in the postseason. I with the Like, like the Suns trying to figure it out. The Heat, don't there's no so that switch is broken. Work? The batteries are dead. So you can't just do this and coast through the regular <laughs> season, and then all of a sudden, But it's oh. fun. What, where it impacts you is seeding, though. Like, that's the biggest thing. Is, 100%. Is, is the last few years, they've kind of gotten away with, listen, you, you kind of take your time in the regular season, coast a little bit. We know Jimmy Butler turns it on. He's kind of said it publicly. This isn't shattering news here. But if you do take the regular season a little bit more seriously, and that was the, the issue with the Lakers, is they felt internally if we had potentially had better rotation and things like that, we have a higher seed. We're not playing Denver. That's and true. And so in Miami's case, if you do you know, go all in on the regular season, maybe you're a higher seed. Maybe you're not playing Boston in round one. Yeah.